The high voltage election drama of Karnataka Assembly came to an end on 10th May, with most of exit polls giving an edge to Congress party. With this, the discussion on who could occupy the chief minister post has already begun. Though the party hasn't announced its chief ministerial candidate, but Sida Ramayya, one of Congress's tallest leaders in Karnataka, seems to have emerged as the strongest contender for the top post. That I am also an aspirant for the chief ministerial post. Likewise, Mr. D. K. Shukumar is also an aspirant for the chief minister court. The aim of both of us is to defeat BJP and to bring back Congress party into power. Born in Mysore in 1948, Sita Ramaya, who goes by only one name, has been a major figure in state's political landscape for over four decades. A private person, Sida Ramaya has a rustic charm, someone not meant to mince words and known for his plain speech. He's always seen dressed in white kurta and dhoti and carrying an anvastra. Sida Ramaya belongs to the Kuruba community, the third largest in Karnataka and always protects himself as a champion of backward classes. He was instrumental in promoting Ahinda conventions and enjoys their support. Ahinda, a Kannada acronym for minorities, backward classes and Dalits. Once part of Janta Dal, he held various portfolios, but the long partnership with Janta Dal Secular ended when its Supremo H.D. Devikora denied him chief ministership and expelled him from the party. Siddharamaya went on to join Congress in 2006. By a simple margin of 257 votes, Sida Ramaya won the Chamundeshwari by polls against N. Shiva Basappa of JDS in the same year. Despite a fierce campaign against him by Devi Gorda, Chief Minister Kumar Swami and Deputy Chief Minister Yadurappa, in the 2008 State Assembly election, he contested from Varuna constituency and was re-elected for the fifth time. In 2013, luck seems to have played its part for Sida Ramaya, who led the Congress's battle against BJP and was sworn in as the Chief Minister of Karnataka. The ceremony was attended by over 50,000 people. During his five-year term, he launched several welfare schemes like Anna Bhagya scheme which provided free rides to households below the poverty line, the Shira Bhagya scheme which provided free milk to school children and Namma Canteen program which provided affordable meals to urban poor. Sida Ramaya was also instrumental in attracting investments to Karnataka. Under his leadership, Karnataka emerged as a hub for IT and biotechnology and Bengaluru became known as India's Silicon Valley. He was the only Karnataka chief minister to have served the full five-year term. But the party was defeated in 2018 election with its seats coming down from 122 to 80 seats. However, the Congress High Command always believed that he has the right credentials to take on BJP in Karnataka elections in 2024. If the Congress party attains a simple majority, he could be the top choice for the CM post. The former Chief Minister Sida Ramaya is contesting from the Varuna Assembly seat in Mysuru. The seat has always been a bastion for Sida Ramaya's family, with the former CM winning in 2008 and 2019 and his son Yatindra winning the seat in 2018. A win in Varuna seat will make his hat-trick victory in the seat. And having won eight assembly elections since his electoral debut in 1983, it seems the Congress leader is eyeing for yet another victory, a grand finale to his electoral career.